<laughs> so I guess if we're calling it anonymous, it means we're a little ashamed of it. <laughs> yeah, that's what we call it. We went with half men anonymous when we started, but that started drawing some real weirdos out of the woodwork. <laughs> yeah. We got a good group of guys in there now, though. You know, we all share, except for Hyde. He just sits over by the coffee and donuts, drinking a bottle of creamer and giggling like an evil idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's not what I'm telling you about. I'm telling you we got it the worst, you know, guys like Andre and me. We're living two lives in one body, man. But most people don't have room enough for one. Poor Andre. His, his wife wouldn't even sleep in the same room with him after that time he tried to eat her. <laughs> it's almost impossible to make a spouse understand what it's like following the impulses of... We're loving animals, you know, because that's sometimes what we are, animals. And animals need to hunt sometimes. And, and sometimes animals need to... Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gave my wife fleas. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that could happen, that a werewolf could get fleas. So there, now you know all of our weaknesses. Uh, silver and fleas! <laughs> Oh, it sounds ridiculous, right? Where do these fleas come from, she asked me. See, she doesn't know that I'm a werewolf. But now we got fleas, and when we sure as hell don't have any pets. Not since we lost Princess and her delicious, delicious kittens. <laughs> <laughs> so she's looking for answers, and I got nothing. For the next day, I noticed my neighbor's dog, Madison. And Madison just scratching and scratching, and I start putting two and two together. Madison is just a, a beautiful, beautiful animal. You know, built like a German shepherd with an ass like a two-year-old spaniel. <laughs> I mean, what would you do, right? <laughs> well, now I'm worried, because, you know, what would my wife do if she started putting two and two together, right? She'd think less of me if she knew I was half wolf, which is the same as being half dog. I mean, sure, wolves are bigger, but... Given the chance, they'll drink out of the toilet just as soon as the next canine, and I've woken up with a blue tongue often enough to prove it. <laughs> Dog isn't something anyone wants to be. So imagine what it was like for poor Andre. He was a fly, man. And a fly is just as low as you can get. And the list proved it. The 50 most terrifying monsters ever, and he wasn't even on the radar. The man with the giant insect head lost a crap like possessed talking dolls and cross-dressing psychos with mommy issues. <laughs> when that magazine came out with the list and he wasn't even on it, that crushed it. Figuratively and literally. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of stuff we talk about in group. <coughs> Fly's the lowest form of life there is. I mean, look around. You see his wife here today? <laughs> I was going to bring my wife. No, I was, but with this being a full moon and all, it just didn't seem like the right time. I mean, I'm going to tell her. I'm just, you know, I'm waiting for the right time. <sighs> this morning, I, I heard my neighbor calling out to his dog, Madison, while playing fetch. Every time Madison caught the tennis ball, he'd yell out, Good boy, Madison. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes.